Hey everyone, um, yeah, uh, I think I haven't made a video in which I've wished you a Happy New Year after the fact, so this is it. Um, also, um, yeah, there's a couple of videos I want to make, but especially one of them I really want to make, but it's kind of like a big one and a bit of a personal one, so, um, you know, I, I recorded it and it went on way too long and kind of didn't get to the point, so working on that. Um, this is just a little thought, and that's um, about, you know, about uh, pretending to be someone that you're not. Um, and, you know, I think to some extent, you know, people say be yourself, just be yourself, and there's a truth to that, but there's also, I think, a problem with that. Um, you can be, a, you know, you might look at yourself and figure out that you're actually a bit of an ass in some way and most people are I am and the thing is you know if you think about it you can probably come up with the ways in which you're a bit of an ass or you're just not doing something you're not consistent you're a bit of a hypocrite and if you say you know I'll just be myself and you use that as an excuse then obviously uh, then obviously you're not going to improve and you're gonna keep doing the bad things that you're doing towards other people. Being that you realized it, uh, you're to blame and you're being unethical and it's a bad thing. Um, whereas, if you know that in some sense that's who you are right now, you know, it's maybe that's, you know, helping that person or behaving in a consistent way isn't what comes naturally. It's not the first thing you'd usually do, but you can recognize that it's actually the correct thing to do, then it can help in a sense to, you know, to pretend to be that person. So you're maybe not feeling it. Um, you might do something nice just because you know it's the right thing to do. Um, even though a big part of your brain saying, I don't really want to do this, do something else, do something selfish. You're basically, um, you know, making yourself be that slightly better person and I think you know that's kind of the this this bullshit um, the secret thing which was the big thing a couple of years ago it's like oh you know be the person you want to be just tell yourself you're successful and you're gonna be successful and obviously that has a core like there's truth to that um, you know there's truth to if you want to achieve something then in some sense you have to behave like you have that property the bullshit part is that first of all it's not the secret that figured this out it's part of lots of different uh, philosophies and ideas people have had over a long time and second of all it's not magic just because you say I'm successful won't make you successful but if you say I'm a confident person and you know you you come out as confident for whatever reason even if it's placebo effect even if it's the secret that gave you that placebo effect, then you're actually going to come across as more confident. And as people respond to you positively, you'll be more confident. And I think the same thing pretty much works with kindness. Um, you might feel, you know, like I do. Um, I used to, as a kid, I guess, kids are all selfish. Um, well, most kids are selfish. But at the same time, most kids are also very generous. It's just kind of out of control um, and it really depends on the situation um, so I found myself when I was quite generous I found that I was taken advantage of a lot when I was a kid and when I was kind of hitting my teenage years so I stopped doing it um, but in fact I think as on the balance the problem I had was I wasn't um, doing it wisely I wasn't being nice in a smart way I mean, if you if you know if you're just nice and you let people exploit you, that's not smart. And you have to be nice to yourself as well. But over the years, I've wanted to get more of that kindness back that was part of me back then. And so, in situations where I guess, you know, I want to be more helpful, but it's really against my grain. I just want to be lazy. I I just I try if I realize that I try to to be a better person even though I'm not um, because I know I'm very flawed and I'm, you know I mean if you had an absolute scale of humans uh, I would be you know not doing very well in lots of categories so that's why I think it's important but on the same at the same time 
you know, that's really all, like, if you're, you know, once you have that as a goal and you're working towards it, then you should be happy with that. You shouldn't punish yourself because you don't always achieve. So you're trying to be nice, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. You're trying to be patient, but sometimes you snap. You're trying to be more outgoing, more confident, but sometimes you strike out. And that's fine. That's just where you're at right now. But it's okay to, and I guess I, when I say pretending to be someone you're not, that's, that's probably not quite the right tone. It's more like emulating the person you want to be. At the same time, obviously, it's that's only a really good thing if you're doing that because you're trying to become that person. It's a bad thing if you're trying to do that to impress other people whilst, um, you know, just to take advantage of them whilst not trying to be that person. If you're just trying to seem like a nice guy to impress, say, a girl or a guy, um, or if you're, you know, if you're just being nice to someone because you're trying to get something out of them and then you're going to drop them the next day. That's terrible. Um, so those are the two different situations in which I guess you might want to um, you might want to emulate someone that has qualities that you feel yourself lacking but in the one case obviously um, it's an honest effort in the other it's more of a lie and more of a uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for whatever that word I'm looking for is you know it's basically you know, it's, it's a pretense um, yeah that, that was it that was my thought for just now um, so yeah as I said I I, I, I try to pretend to be or I try to emulate a person that's a better person than I am with the hope that one day by doing that um, actually I will acquire some of these qualities because I become practiced in um, these I guess you could call them virtues and at the same time I experience the joys uh, which come with them because I like being kind it's just that part of me I think is conditioned at this stage to not um, to not believe that this is going to be something that will bring me joy and when it does that's something that reinforces it um, not saying that joy should be the primary motivator um, but also you know the sense of being in the right the sense of um, actually doing good is also one, one of these things and you know you you actually kind of I, I cherish that when I get it again far from it myself but you know just keep trying I guess that's the best we can do and I think as long as someone's honestly trying that's the best you can ask of them if someone's born a bit of an ass like I was you know if they make an honest effort then that's pretty good um, if they make a half-assed effort like I do then I guess encourage them <laughs> to try harder and if they're not making any effort at all then you know then I guess it's time to try to get them to realize how the ways they are, how how maybe that's not the best person they can be, and you know it's hard to judge, but sometimes it's easy enough to judge. And the most important thing isn't to tell other people what kind of person they might maybe should be. The most important thing is to tell yourself, obviously. Um, so I'll see you guys all later, Church of S.